Alright. Turn down the music a little bit here. Alright, welcome guys to the Rogue Yogi Lounge. For those of you that haven't met me before, my name's Julie Tranborn, and I moderate this group. I demonstrate a lot of yoga poses, I share omnivore recipes that can be adaptable for vegans, vegetarians, or overall meat lovers. And I just got back from a music festival called Symbiosis. And we spent Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we spent f almost five days in the Central Valley uh, in Northern California. And it was very hot and it was very dusty. And there were a lot of gopher holes and it's kind of hilly. And it was an interesting experience. I mean, there's a lot of cool music. There's a lot of hidden gems that we got to discover just walking around really cool artwork some of them you got to see during the slideshow while you're waiting for this broadcast uh, it was a lot of walking i did get to take some yoga classes but i could definitely use a restorative yoga session right now because all that walking and all those conditions it really put a strain on my lower back my hips my hamstrings my calves and my ankles and have some friends that uh, requested some restorative arm poses for the arms because they were rowing in the water at the festival and their arms were tired. So we'll start off with some arms and then we'll end up lying on the mat or you can see on my carpet. And because this is a new form of broadcasting, I'm testing this out because I want to provide better quality videos for you. Um, there may be pauses in the broadcasting because I'm running on DSL. So it's not a problem. If you find that the video's paused, just stay in the pose for at least five minutes and when you feel ready you can catch up and transition to the next pose. This is a kind of yoga where you just stay as long as you'd like and then you can take your time as much as you'd like to go to the next pose. All right, so with that being said, we'll start off. We can check if there's any comments or questions or anything. Nope, okay, cool. So let's begin taking a comfortable seat. Just go back so you can see me. Take a nice cross-legged seat. Have the elbows alongside the body, palms face down on the knees. And close your eyes. Just feel the different parts of your body begin to soften. find it's amusing that you have to be compressed from taking time away from work and hanging out and having fun, but know that it really can take a toll on your joints, on your muscles. Just a nice graceful transition back to the real world. sit bones to relax. And just notice the flow of natural breathing without trying to force a rhythm or a pace. the spine long. Feel the shoulders draw back. So open the chest, widen the collarbones. Just 
the top of the head and line with the tailbone. Notice if any parts of your body feel a little achy, a little tense. If one side would feel tighter than the other. Had at the festival. If you had one too many, or not enough, you can plug in your perception. Sit down here, press the palms together, sit apart. Bring the thumbs to your sternum, lower your nose towards your fingertips. Feel the back of the neck stretch. Thumbs to the sternum, nose and face towards the fingertips, lift the chest a little higher, round down the sit bones. forward and with your eyes open. Just check to make sure the video is good. Okay. Alright, so once you've got your eyes open, rest the palms onto your knees, onto the thighs. From here, angel arms up. You stretch from the side body, lift from the waist, gaze up at the ceiling, exhale, twist to the right, left hand on right knee, right hand right behind your tailbone, the base of your spine, you twist from the waist instead of the chest, you start to see the back of the room, gaze over the right shoulder, For your lower back, your side body. Angel arms up. Stretch from the side body, from the waist. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand and left Sense the left hand behind the base of your spine. And start to gaze over your left shoulder.
from here, and tell the right arm up. Exhale, bend the elbow behind the head. And you take the left arm and it turns it back. So I'll show you a view of how this looks. So your fingers do not have to touch to keep the spine long. If your fingers don't touch, you can look at this alignment along the back length of your spine. If your fingers do touch, they can grab each other. If they do grab, you can bring your elbow behind your head. So you can either make fists with your hands or the fingers can grab each other. Close your eyes, lift the chest, fix your gaze forward so you don't strain your neck. Keep the neck long. This is very good for your shoulders and you're going to feel it in your triceps and the biceps. You feel it in the upper back. You cannot be in this pose for five minutes because it may be a bit long to hold your arms up like this, no problem. You can gently extend both arms out. And take your arms across and give yourself a proper hug. And bring the left arm up, bend the elbow behind your head, take the right arm, bend it behind your back. You can make fists with your hands or fingers grab each other. And you can close your eyes. While you close your eyes and remain in this pose, I'm going to check on the technicalities of this broadcast. I know there's a huge delay going on with the broadcast, but not a problem. This is where you get to practice with your time and not having to rush into things. Bring the left elbow behind your head. Just keep the gaze forward. Lengthen your neck. From here, make your arms lengthen. You're going to extend the arms out and give yourself a couple of hugs. Relax the shoulders and the upper back. When you get a chance to give yourself a hug, make sure that's cutie or awesome, depends on your work pattern. From here, you can cross your legs, bring the legs forward. So you're in a supported 
Hashimoto Nasana, supporting seated forward fold. Yeah, then elbow to an eye. You can place them horizontally across your left. Depending on how deep you want to fold forward, you can take two or three pillows. I'm going to start off with two. Let's see how this goes. But cross the arms, relax the forearms and the elbows onto the pillows. Just lean forward. And if you find you would rather have your chin resting on a pillow instead of leaning forward like this, then you grab the third pillow. You could even grab the fourth pillow. Now you can barely see me. Okay. Take your pillows on. Lean forward from the waist. This is going to be a good pose for your lower back. You can rest the chin onto the pillow. Or if you don't have enough pillows at home, you might rest your face with your hands. at least five minutes just to allow the connective tissue around the lower back to relax. If you're standing all day or walking all day and you're kind of deaf and it's heavy, your lower back definitely is going to hurt. As your back begins to relax, you might find that you could fold forward a little deeper. The more the connective tissue relaxes, and you can lean forward, and scoot forward a little bit, and then tap chin to chest. You can stay here as long as you'd like to, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I will move on to the next. Okay, the pillows are off to the side. Widen the legs. We're doing side leg, side body stretch. So bring the pillows alongside, on either side of your right leg, and. Place the right elbow on the pillow. And place your face in the right hand of your cradle. Allow your body to kind of stretch on the side body. Your left hand can rest on the pillow. Your 
Bring the pillows aside, plant the palms behind your back, fingers point 
forward, lift the chest up, tilt the pelvis forward, and gaze up, relax the head behind the neck, and release the sacrum, the lower back, slowly tuck chin to the chest, walk your hands forward a little, wiggle your feet, windshield wipers. of you just joining in, I'm practicing a couple of stirring poses to keep you present for me as I move into that yoga. And if you're unable to see this broadcast right now, I'm recording it and I'm going to post it up afterwards so you won't miss anything at all. Go technology! Alright, lift the toes, bring your legs together. And one more arm stretch arms forward, interlace the hands, length of the spine, lifting the arms as if you're pulling it out of the socket very gently, not literally. And convert as the palms face outward. And then back so the palms face face you. Connect the arms up to the sky. Lean to the left. From here, bend your knees, bring your feet towards your glute. Um, I'll come into a tabletop position. We'll do a little more wrist and forearm stretches. The hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So if you just laid wide apart, and begin to lean forward, shift the shoulders and hips forward. tabletop position. And you can bring the fingers to point towards your thighs. This time shift the weight back, hips and shoulders back. Feel in the wrist and the forearms. Take the weight forward, do gently one at a time, bring the fingers to point forward. So from here, bring your big toes together and onto your heels. Bring the pillows out for supported child's pose. I've got, I've got all four pillows back in here. Okay, let's bring the pillows up to your belly. You can widen the feet. Widen the knees. Expand your chest. And take your left cheek. On your right cheek, completely rested under the pillows. Supported child's pose. These pillows will elevate your chest so that your back is actually flat and releases pressure off of your lower back. So calm your nervous system down. to the right cheek.
three minutes, then they get forward. You guys be calm, be on the ground, work yourself off of pillows. the knees close together and also open the door so Bowie can go outside. Okay. And from here let's do a little bit of camel. So come onto your knees, knees are hip distance apart, the toes can be flat or tucked. And you have the option to take the one hand or fist behind the center of your spine and place the other hand flat in front of the rib cage. Maybe tilt the hips forward, push the hips forward. Really nice back bend. And if you like to take it to another level, you can take both hands behind your back, fingers point upward, push the hips forward. Your neck is good as long as your chest continues to move forward at the same time allow your head to relax behind your head. When you're ready to come out of camel, slowly tuck chin to chest. Very important. Bring your hands to your hips and sit onto your heels. Hi, Bowie. Wanna come in? Wanna come in or wanna go out? Come on. have a cat, you know what it's like. They want to go in or they want to go out, but depending on you closing the door behind them or they can go in. Yes, well, we were talking about you. Right, from here, bring your feet to one side of your glutes, kind of like in front of you. Let's lie down for a bit. Bring the pillows aside. Oh, I'm gonna grab my yoga block and I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys a restorative version of bridge pose. We showed the yoga block last week, but we didn't actually use it. So here I'm gonna demonstrate for you. So you lie onto your back, knees are bent. Feet about hip distance apart. The feet are parallel, the toes point forward. And generally your ankles are right underneath your knees. So arms alongside your body, palms press down. Inhale, hips up to the sky. And you take your yoga block, depending on how high you want the back bend to be, place it at the specific height, but it's right under your tailbone, the sacrum. It's that flat part of your lower back before it reaches your glutes. So if you'd like, you can close the door. And yeah. So you can have it at the shortest height. You could have it at a slightly higher height. If you want a really deep back bend, you can place it up. Just be careful and pay attention to how your back feels. If it doesn't feel good, if it's screaming in some form or another, then you definitely want to take it lower. For me, I feel good. I don't feel any pain at this height. You really want to get a deep back bend. And this counters any kind of slouching or bad posture, the constant walking to the total and the lower back is compressed. Try to keep the knees about yoga block distance apart. Just imagine there's the thinnest part of the yoga block between the knees. 
just keep the bones aligned so there's less strain on the joint. Go ahead and lower the block to the lower right just so you can see how that looks. So you still get a benefit out of this restorative pose no matter how low or high the block is placed. What's nice about this pose is that as opposed to the normal bridge pose, you're actively engaging the thighs, the glutes, the hips to stay up and draw up towards the sky. Here in the restorative pose, gravity is just doing all of the work, allowing the weight of the hips to just press down onto the block. So that gentle pressure gives for a nice little massage. After five minutes or so, when you feel ready, just carefully let the palm down, let the hips gently off the block, and slide the block aside. Slowly lower down one vertebra at a time, so the tailbone's the last to touch the ground. And it's really great to follow the back bend with a Sukta Baddha Tanasana, supine cobbler's pose. So bring the soles and heels together. Allow the knees to open wide. From here, you can grab your pillows. If you're unable to see from this camera view, because I, I can't see what I'm, how the camera views right now, so your your soles and heels are pressing together, and your knees open wide. They look like a butterfly's wings, kind of. You could take some pillows and place it underneath each knee if your hips are too tight or if that doesn't feel good. Just allow some cushion to rest under the knees so there's minimal work. And you can put both hands on your belly. You can put one hand on your heart and then one on your belly. Just breathe in naturally and feel the rise of your chest. Feel the rise of your belly. While this opens up the hips, it releases the sacrum from holding that pose, resting on that block for five minutes. And once the five minutes have passed, or if you can feel that it's getting a little crampy before then, just take your hands to your thighs and bring the knees together. Hug your knees into your chest. Touch your nose to your knees. You can even wrap your arms around your legs. And relax your head down on the floor. And you can make circles with your knees. You can make circles the other way. Here, keep the knees bent, but plant the feet down on the floor. I don't have a yoga strap here. I usually just use one at this at whatever studio I'm taking a class at or teaching at. So for here, I'm going to straighten the right leg up and take my hands and interlace them behind the right thigh. And bring the elbows close to the side body. So there's less of a strain from the biceps or triceps, but more of the hands straightening the back of the hamstring. You can push the right heel up towards the ceiling and feel a nice deep stretch from the hamstring, the calves, to the ankles. You can use flexor toes towards the ankles. Just an 
make circles with your toes. With each deep inhale and exhale, bring the thigh closer towards your chest. And after a couple minutes, you can tilt, point the right toes towards the right, and bring the right leg about uh, an inch or two towards the right. You should feel something in your IT band. That's the, that's the part that connects from your glutes all the way to your knee on the side. If you don't, you may need to turn the toes a little inward and bring the leg outward until you feel a stretch. After a few minutes of that, extend the right knee into your chest, hug the right knee in, release, and bring the left knee into your chest, wrap the fingers on the back of the left hamstring, straighten the left leg up, press the left heel up, and curl the left toes towards the face, feel a stretch of the hamstring and the calves, a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the left thigh closer to the chest. Okay, spend a few minutes here. You might need to pause the video if you uh, want to take a couple more minutes. In the meantime, that may be able to pass if you tilt Bring the toes a little inward or outward and bring the left leg towards the left until you feel the left IT band stretch. And after a few minutes have passed, bring the left leg up. Make circles with the left toes, make circles in the other direction, flex the toes forward and back. Come the left knee to your chest, press the left foot down. My nose is stuffy because there's so much dust at the festival that I, w I should have brought a medical mask, but now my nose is, my nose is stuffy, so you're getting a nice stuffy nose from structural broadcast today. All right, so from here, hug the knees into your chest one more time. And then rock back and forth, up and down your spine, do the whole back of your thumb. Until you bring yourself upright. Use momentum. Once you've gotten to that point, nice and comfortable position. You could lie down in Shavasana, but I'll wrap up the broadcast now so you'll be in this nice comfortable seat. Press the palms to your chest, thumbs to the sternum, and body it forward. Full breath in. breath in, exhale, full breath in, exhale, cool, I hope you feel a little bit more relaxed like I am, hope your legs feel a little more uh, stretched and soothed and uh, a little bit more decompressed to a festival with Dark and Duck. I'm going to listen to some music now and uh, chill out. Get ready to chill out. So, let's go closer so you can see me. So, if you found that helpful, if you have any other friends that went to symbiosis with you and could use a good stretch, uh, let them know about this group and see if they're interested in being added to the group and they can see the recording of this and practice at home 
whenever it's good for them. If you would like to uh, work on some other parts of your body, I, I will do one more restorative yoga demo. Uh, restorative yoga, restorative yoga demo next week um, before I go to Tulum, Mexico, and lead our yoga retreat. Uh, let me know in the comments or send me a private message on something you'd like me to demonstrate that will help you feel a little better in the body and we'll take it from there all right thanks for dialing in thanks for joining thanks for experimenting with this delayed broadcasting with me enjoy the rest of your day see ya